had this Norway maple. You can see it was topped before. The homeowner likes the tree. They, they don't want it coming out. So what I'm going to do is go in there, take the dead limbs out, and reduce the canopy a little bit. Get some of that weight out of the top of the tree. Because in the future, there's going to be a lot more dead in the top. Because it looks like it was only topped maybe four years ago, five years ago. So what I don't want happening is ten years from now, there's going to be so much weight on the tips of these limbs. And where it was topped before, it's going to, it's going to rot. And I don't want it to break with all that weight on the end of it wouldn't happen now but 10-15 years down the road it definitely will. It's a beautiful tree. It should never have been topped. The homeowner was misinformed from the last tree guy. And then we're going to remove some of these limbs here going over the house. Nothing major. Nothing major coming off on this side. Then I'm going to be removing this stump back here. We didn't cut the tree down. It was cut down maybe two years ago. It's a massive stump. It's uh, eight feet long and five feet wide. See where it started rotting at the trunk here. It's all punky wood. It's not uncommon with the big trees to start rotting out. See how punky that is. There's no solid wood. It wouldn't cause the tree to blow over immediately, but definitely would come over in the future because of that. There probably is a case of root rot with this tree too, being that there's this uh, trunk rot. So that one stump almost filled up the whole container. It was empty when we got here. We were going to put it in the chip truck. But then we would have had a dump. It was easier just to drop the container and empty the wheelbarrow back here. ground out a little bit more than the eight feet we ground out all this there's some surface roots once we started grinding underneath the grass that had to come out You can see how much I took out of the inside. The tree was topped twice. I didn't see it from the ground, but it was 
top right there at the knuckle and then tips of the branches were topped. Again, we climbed a tree. I climbed a tree, and when we climb trees, if we're not removing them, we don't wear spikes. So hopefully this tree will live another 50 years.